Oh, can I? Beth, we will talk about this at your next appraisal, OK? <sighs> you said that in my last appraisal and the one before that. Oh, come on, Mrs Connor. I'm wasted on that shop floor. I have got management potential. I was captain of the school netball team, you know. OK, fine. Fine, you can sit in on some client meetings. How's that? Really? Mm. <gasps> Wait, what's all like cake? Oh, oh. Blimey, you look like you've been here a while. Mm. Just working my way through Roy's limited tea selection. It's not like I've got anything better to do. Oh, I don't know. You could just sit here feeling sorry for yourself. If you suggest that I start making matchstick boats, I might have to disown you. Why don't you come and manage a factory with me? <laughs> well, I'll be on the same training programme as Beth. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, very funny. No, you'd be a consultant, obviously. You can help win back some of your old clients for this new business model we've got going on. Hey, we see him on this afternoon. You might remember him. Trevor Monton. Yeah! Mm. But I could have sworn I went to his funeral. Oh, no, that was his dad. No, it's his... Trevor Junior. You know, right, misogynistic pig. He can't bear dealing with me and Sarah, so actually you're doing me a really big favour. You're not really selling it. Hey, they do lap sand sushan in the bistro. Ooh. Go on, then. Good. I can't tell you how good it feels to be out of my slacks. I am so sorry I'm late. Peanut ate my notebook and Kirky had to rush out and get me another one. But look what it says. Boss lady! <laughs> I mean, I've always been a boss, but now I am an actual boss. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what's, what's he doing here? Oh, well, meet Johnny. It's my new right-hand man. Oh. What does that make me, then? Uh, my left. Left doing nothing more like. Oh, Beth, you're here to observe, that's all. Sit down, watch and learn. Ah, oh, here he is, Trevor. So good to see you. Johnny! Carla never told me you were back at the Elm. If she had, I'd agreed to meet you a long time ago. Well, I'm just doing a bit of consultancy. Carla's very much in charge of the day-to-day. -day. Well, she couldn't ask for a better mentor. Watch and learn, young lady. Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always came back from your meetings with a story to tell. Three sheets to the wind. Oh, yeah, he liked her brandy. <laughs> oh, give me a shout when you're ready to talk business. I'll be in the ladies. Playing Candy Crush. Hey, we should go somewhere after this. Toast the old man. I'm a member of that new gentleman's club in town. So, Trevor, how's it going with your new suppliers? Well, the amount of paperwork we're having to do post-Brexit has made it more difficult, that's for sure. Well, you bypass all that if you came back to us. Yeah, but you're more expensive, even when you take into account the extra red tape. <laughs> Martin, <laughs> perhaps, but... Yes? But your suppliers don't offer the end-to-end -end package that we do nowadays, you know. I mean, we offer from bespoke design to sales right through to marketing. We're, we're like a one-stop magic shop these days, aren't we, Dad? You talk to any of our customers, they'll tell you. With, with this new, leaner business model, we can save them thousands upon thousands, year after year. It's really a no-brainer, Trevor. He's not just a pretty face, then. Out with the old and in with the new, eh? You know, uh, I think Carla's got this, and uh, I've, I've got another appointment I've got to get to. Uh, nice to see you again, kid. And you. Bye, Dad. Go on, then. I'm listening. OK, you take a look at that. 